Hello everyone and welcome to my tutorial on how to install Ubuntu Linux on your Windows 10 computer. Now this is specifically for Windows 10 because I do not recommend to try this on a Windows 8 or Windows 7 because it's not the best success if you try to put Ubuntu Linux on those two OS's and plus Windows 7 support is ending in 2020 so I really don't see any point in attempting that anyway. But, this is again for Windows 10 computers. Now, I'm titling this video, How to Install Ubuntu Linux, is for users who do not have the VTD option for their computers. Because many of you, hopefully, have tried to jailbreak already with the Rainstorm program. But, it has not worked because the IOMMU or the VTD is not available. However, there is some good news from the Check Rain jailbreak team over the Thanksgiving weekend, and that was confirmation that Linux will be arriving before Windows. So we will get the Linux tool first before Windows even comes out. Now thankfully, I will be doing a tutorial on how to do both Windows and Linux on the jailbreak when we do get an official tool from the Check Rain jailbreak team. So for now, how are we going to install Linux? And let's remember why we're doing this. Because again, we do not have VTD on our computers. We do not have it in our BIOS, but we do have virtualization. So that is the catch we're gonna be doing in this video. So first up, you are going to see this link in the description below, this one right here. So make sure you download the latest edition 0.9.5. You're going to want to do the setup exe file first. Rainstorm run, that's the tricky part. If you do not have the VTD, you will not be able to run the QMEU emulator with the boot VS file from the terminal emulator. Now, if you do have VTD, I encourage you to watch on this tech tutorial. He did an excellent job with that tutorial. More importantly, he did not specifically mention that you do need to make sure that your USB drivers are able to work with the program. There is an option you can do that with the Rainstorm run from the terminal emulator. But again, we're not doing that in this video. We're just installing Linux to get ready for when the official Jack Rain tool comes out. And later on in this video, I will show you the USB drivers for my iPhone do work with Linux Ubuntu. So let's click on Setup EXE. So now the file is going to download. So now what we want to do is we're going to go to our file explorer and make sure that you right click Run as Administrator. So we're going to hit Write as. Oh, see, that's the problem Windows Defender Smart Screen prevented an unrecognized app from starting. So let's see if it'll work. So I'll be right back and I will figure this out. If you do run into this problem, I would suggest to click more info and then hit run anyway. So we are gonna hit yes. And now what will come up is this option. So again, this is going to install Ubuntu Linux on your computer. So we are gonna show you the BIOS later on as soon as we install this program. So now you're going to hit install. So now it's going to download the program. So now we're going to have to wait a while. So in the meantime, I was just, I don't know, walk your pet. Well, it could be a dog. Yeah, I mean, walk the dog. Maybe grab a coffee, watch something on Netflix in the meantime, or Disney Plus. Maybe go watch your satellite or cable TV. Just do something. Maybe just grab a meal while this waits because depending on your internet speed, this could take a while. Thankfully for me, this will only take about 25 minutes, so you can click details and it will tell you how long this process will take. So once it is done, we will move on to the next step. Alright, so next step we're going to do is make sure that we are on the Ubuntu install. The installation program will come up. So of course we're going to install it to my main hard drive, 879 gigabytes free. Now, best thing I would recommend to do is to at least make sure that you have about 64 gigabytes free because we want to make sure 
that Ubuntu will have enough space to install for our dual boot. So of course we're going to make sure that Ubuntu is here. And now we're going to hit install. Now before we hit install, we want to put a very valid password. So I'll just type in a random password. Thankfully you can't see it. Now we can hit install. So now it's going to download information. The installation files will come up. So it's going to continue to copy. This process should not take long, unlike the ISO trying to download from when we ran the original program. Now it's going to extract our kernel. So it's just going to run through the last couple of steps. And we can hit reboot now. So I'm going to reboot the computer. I'm going to get my iPhone 8 out so we can continue on with the next couple of steps. So once you're done rebooting, make sure you hit your F2 key. Now make sure you know what your BIOS key is, otherwise you are not going to be able to boot up into Ubuntu. Now the first thing I notice here is the screen is not bright. So we're gonna have to go to power management just very quickly, because I know I should be able to find the display but if not that will be all right I mean you guys can see it here anyway so if I can't make the brightness increase for now that's okay oh here we go look at that now I can see that's a little bit better sorry for that little delay but if you don't run into this problem here's what I want you guys to do so two things we're gonna do right now so, first up, in security, you're going to go to your security options. Now, we have a lot of security options here. We're not going to go to security options. Instead, we're going to look for secure boot. And now we're going to make sure that secure boot is disabled, because once we have the secure boot disabled, we can hit F12. Now we're going to go to virtualization support. So make sure virtual technology the intel virtual technology is enabled also make sure that vt for direct io is enabled both will definitely help us out with our usb drivers so that way when the official tool comes out on linux you will be able to just plug in and run the terminal emulator so now that we're done with that we can hit exit so now we're going to hit f12 once the computer reboots we're going to wait for this to reboot. And there we go. That's a good sign. So now we're going to go to the boot menu. Now, I will prove to you all that Windows Boot Manager and Ubuntu do come up. So we are going to go to Ubuntu. So now we're going to run the installation. And very quickly, if you notice that your uh, options are not coming up, you can go to recovery mode. And what will happen is... You go to recovery mode, you can do a disk cleanup, fix broken files. The broken files is the most important step because I've done this so many times that I've had it happen when I have booted up to Ubuntu. It works every single time. So just remember, you can go to broken packages, repair those, and Ubuntu will load up each and every time. And at the end of this video, I will show you that Windows 10 does boot up on my computer. So we are going to wait for this to load up. Shouldn't take that long. And I will be right back. All right. And there you have it. Ubuntu is installing. So the Ubuntu OS will install. Once again, if you do run into the problem where you do not see the bottom bar running, I will show you how to fix that. It's a pretty simple process, as I mentioned before, in recovery mode using the F12 key or whatever key you use on your computer to go into the boot options. So it will not be an issue for if you do end up in the same problem I have in the past. So it's almost done installing. Stay patient and you will see the Ubuntu Linux load up.
All right, so again, if you have any issues, just go to advanced options and then go into recovery mode. So recovery mode will be loading up on the screen right now. So this is the most important thing I recommend to do if you do get stuck on the load screen. So once again, go down, you see this option, repair broken packages. Hit yes. It'll calculate the change, then press enter. Then make sure you hit resume normal boot. Now normal boot will come up. This is normal. I've seen this numerous times when I've booted up to Linux. So now here we go. We can now enter my password. So now options will come up on the bottom of the screen. It will take some time, but just stay patient. So there you have it. There you have it. Ubuntu is officially loaded up. We have Linux on this computer. So once again, most important thing we're going to do right now is check to see if we have the terminal emulator. Here is the terminal emulator. So when you do load up Linux, make sure that you do have your terminal emulator. So I'm just going to do a quick test to make sure that the keyboard is working. Just going to make sure that we just hit CD desktop for a random example. All right, there we go. There we go. We are live on Linux. We are live on Linux. So I don't recognize this part of Linux, but I guess it's because it's so simple and it's figured it out by now, I guess. Now, we're going to do one last test for Linux, and then we'll boot up right back to Windows. So there we go. I just plugged in my phone, and look at this. iPhone Documents on Andy's phone is working. So again, if you do not have the VTD, this is the best way to go for now until CheckRain releases the tool for Linux. So lastly, we're going to boot back into Windows 10. So what you do is you hold down your power button and then you can hit restart. So now hit restart because we did the following on the boot options earlier. We made sure that Windows 10 was the main option. We didn't have Windows 10 as our main OS. That's no problem. You can go back to BIOS and fix that. So sometimes you may get this error. That's normal. Again, I have tried this before. This works 100%. Take my word on it because I have my gut feeling telling me that we will be able to jailbreak first on Linux. The whole point of Linux is to have it both running on a Windows computer. That's why Check the Rainstorm team did this. Be prepared if you don't have the VTD. This is the best option if you have virtualization. This is the way to go for now. So again, I will have a tutorial. A tutorial will be available when the Linux tool comes out and when the Windows tool comes out. I may have to unjailbreak on my phone and just show you how to install Cydia again. If you already have Cydia installed, I guess. But I'm sure there'll be other YouTubers that will do a Windows tutorial, I'm hoping. Because we will have a Windows tutorial in the future. I just, I just have a, a good feeling about that. So now the reboot will come up. And I will not launch my OBS because I really don't see any point in doing that. But again, when you do want to boot back up to Windows 10, make sure you don't hit your F12 key. Because if you hit that key, F11 or F12, you're going to go back to the options that says boot back to Windows, boot back to Linux Ubuntu. We don't want to do that right now. We want to go right back to Windows. Camera cut off again. I hate when that happens. But we are going to wait for Windows 10 to load up. Should load up any second, so stay patient. This is normal. Won't take that long. And there you have it. Windows 10 is back. So again, this is the best thing that can happen for now. 
Once again, if you don't have VTD on your BIOS, that's not an option. This is going to be the most direct way to jailbreak when the Linux tool does come out. So I'm just going to quickly enter my passcode to show you that I'm not lying that Windows 10 is going to boot up. Let me just make sure that this definitely comes up. And there we go. We're back on Windows 10. So the only thing I have to do right now is just fix the clock, but that's a simple fix in settings. So that being all said, that's going to wrap up this video. So I hope you all enjoyed. I hope you all found it very useful. I'm not really going to be using Linux because, again, I just don't see any point in having it because all my stuff is on Windows. But thankfully, I don't lose anything on Windows completely and once again this is a dual boot meaning you can boot to windows 10 and you can boot to linux ubuntu so that being all said thank you all very much for watching and until the next one please take care